Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Fishing Planet and we are still doing the Halloween 2023 event and we are in the home stretch on some of this guys because we are really getting close to completing this. We may not complete it by Halloween itself, but we still have seven days. This does go beyond, I think all the way up to November 6th if I'm not mistaken. So we still have plenty of time to get there. But I am going to go ahead and finish the Jar of Fish Eyes mission, which is part of the Potion of Summoning main mission. Uh, we already caught 7 out of the 13 bow fins, which they have to be caught after midnight on the Everglades. Now, this is the second ingredient of the Summoning Potion. So, what we got to do from that point, we're going to have to move on to the Ghost Essence. We've caught most of them already. We've got to finish it off the ghost pikes with a silicon spider, uh, with the spider sp spider spoon spider spoon. That one is actually we have caught none of them so far, and then the ghost pikes using the roach spoon. The roach spoon is actually been really good for these bow fins, so I have a feeling it's going to be the same here. And after that, guys, I think we will have everything we need to move on to the frankenfish. That would be awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what we can do about completing this. And head on in here. It should still be night. Now, in the last episode, I went, like I said, I took us to seven. I'm trying to keep these episodes not too, too long so that you get overwhelmed. I did get. A question from one of my viewers about if you have completed this event, can you still take part in it in any way? Well, you can't the events. That is true. However, you can still go in and catch the event fish, or at least many of them. Like, for instance, those fiery muskies, the claw, you know, the ghost carps, and the, uh, Catfish demons and the tarpon demons, those bring a lot of cash. Those fire, those fiery uh, pike, I mean, not pike, but fiery muskies alone, there's like 50,000, 60,000 in just one night. And, you know, definitely could be worth your while. Plus, it's a lot of fun to catch them. And you could break your, you know, your current record and all that kind of stuff. Good stuff. So it's not completely over. Plus, there are also the monster missions that are always ongoing. I don't know if you noticed that, but at the very bottom you have fish monsters. You can go through and catch those as well. But those can be caught at any time, honestly. I've gotten them all up to Maron and Amazonian Maze, South American Conco River I still don't have. And I'm kind of be really interested to see what they have for the sea one. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and finish this up here real fast. So I think is it on six? Oh, that's the carp rod. Here it is. It seems like we found out in the last one that the lift and drop is the type of move that works the best. Getting a real good lift and drop, though.
There we go. They've been biting pretty heavily on this, really. I mean, I was afraid it would take too long, but there's a trophy bowfin right off the bat. Takes it down to five. And yeah, you can only do it after midnight, but I've only been in-game doing it for 56 minutes, so... I don't think it's going to take the entire time, honestly. <laughs> Got a boot. <laughs> she looks more like a tennis shoe to me. There we go. 9 and 13. She did that with a stop and go. I was just mixing it up a little bit. The lift to drop wasn't getting it at the point in time for some reason, so maybe I'll throw in a lift and drop. There we go. And there is 10 to 13. Eleven or thirteen, another trophy. There we go. Twelve or thirteen. One more, guys. This is where things tend to slow down, that's <laughs> when you need the last one. That's uh, always been the case. Yep, this is always the way it goes with this. You'll get to the last one and then they just don't want to bite anymore. Just to make it frustrating. I think I might switch to stop and go just to do it a little different. I can easily get a three dot presentation and that was probably what I needed to do. Yep, that was it. There's the last one. That's it. Now we got the jar of fish eyes. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy with those fish eyes added to the brew. Frank and fish will find your pro potion irresistible. Almost a protein. You should put your soul into everything you do, particularly if you're brewing a magic summoning potion. However, in this case, the witching book means literally adding some ghost pike essence. Catch enough of these spooky fishy spooks during nighttime to gather a sufficient amount of their ethereal essence and attract the frank and fish. 
All right, so we now have to leave and head on to, I think it's going to have to be Emerald Lake because I was not catching them. It's St. Croix at all. <clears throat> they don't tell you that. It does not say anywhere that it's supposed to be at Emerald Lake. Which I find kind of interesting. But as you can see, Emerald Lake is definitely lit up. Doesn't cost much to go there anyway. Costs a little bit to go to San Joaquin. I don't have an unlimited license there, so I'm going to have to make it up somehow or another. Alright, we're going to go into a new private room. There's quite a few places here, too. Just about every one of these ones that have the pumpkins, you're going to find free gear in various places. One of which is real close to me, <laughs> apparently. Yep, there it is. Then back there. Ooh, fire opal jerk bait. That's a good one to get. Honestly, real good one. And there are other ones here, but to get to them, you really do have to have the boat. But we're going to need the boat anyway, so it's not a big deal. And most of the spots have been pretty good. I think I still have some marked on the map as well, but I know one of the places to find some gears over here. There's a pumpkin over here. I think there might be... Yep, there's also some gravestones. Century eggs. An old bone. <laughs> good old bone. You can always use a good old bone, I tell you. Yeah, and there's some over there too. I knew there was some somewhere else. There might be Let's see, some over there by the dock as well, I don't remember. I figured I'd go ahead and at least show you guys, so if you're looking for them, you'll know where to look. The hardest ones to find are usually the bigger ones, though, the ones in the bigger waterways. These small ones aren't too bad. But this is the same dock that you, you know you go to for the 4th of July event. Well, I can't seem to get on there. Okay, there we go. Sorry, bread. Yeah, if you look through here, well, it used to be able to you'd still see the statue of George Washington, even though it's not the event time. I think there's another pumpkin, maybe one over here too. Doesn't take long to get around this location though. Well, maybe there isn't. I thought there was. Nope. That would be it. I think there. I was thinking there was one more over here somewhere, but maybe not. Nope. That's it. Okay. Anyway, that's the locations for the gear that you can get for free. But we need to come over here anyway. Pretty sure. Let me go ahead and stop this here. Pull up the map.
Let me see. I think this is... Yep, that's Ghost Pike Marker. I thought it was. That's Sauger. Unique Sauger. Okay. So that is the marker. You can troll this lake, but it's not very easy. It's very short, so it doesn't give you a lot of opportunity. But I have found that if I position my boat right around here, this tends to be a good spot to do. And if you go just beyond that and fish over on that side, they seem to bite really well. But we're going to have to advance time. And... Pike should come available now. Now we already need to catch three with the roach spoon, so might as well keep that out. Haven't used the spider spoon yet, as I said. This is where I caught the last ghost pike I caught here. I'll have to just figure out what kind of presentation we need to use here. I don't know what would be best. I need to get a new line for this. The darn thing's down to 33%. That's just crazy. Wow. That didn't take too long. There's our first one. Ghost Pike. This is what they look like. And I don't think they come any bigger than that, so... They are not monsters. 11 pounds. Light gear can pretty much take them. We need to get two more with this lure. So the stop and go seem to work fine. I'm sure the lift and drop will work as well. Might do good to mix it up a little bit anyway. Sometimes if you do a one presentation too long, it's like the fish get, I don't know, bored with it or something. <laughs> Yeah, this line's breaking down fast. I got a three on that one. Yeah, I'm just getting twitching. I don't know if that's going to be effective or not. Yeah, one of my viewers said that this was the a really easy one. I don't think it is, <laughs> in my opinion. Because... It seemed like last time I did this, it was easy for some of the lures. For others, it wasn't all that easy. And one of the ones that I had a tough time getting them to bite on was that first one, the silicon spider. I'm really not sure why. try over here for a little bit. I've caught them both directions. Oh, that seemed to work. Wow. That's a fairly decent attack from these guys. That last one wasn't all that big, but this one seems to be giving me considerably more of a fight. Nineteen pounds. Yeah, he's almost eight pounds heavier. 
Maybe they do come in different sizes. Wow, that's not bad. Yeah, it's weird. You will get lulls like that, and then you'll get times when you get just two or three real close together. And you're like, why in the world did I not do this earlier? <laughs> I seem to be doing fine with that lure now. Now, will I keep it up? I couldn't tell you. But... Trying to keep it up while it's hot, if we can. There we go. Not sure this is. Yeah, it's an event fish. Just not as big, I guess. Another 11 pounder. Yeah, it looks like they actually have trophy size ones here. Possibly. Yeah, it'd be kind of nice to get this. Looking spider one done. Yeah, I think I might switch off again. Maybe knock off a few from the spider spoon. Do we have the spider spoon? Huh? Here it is. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Not here. Not cool. Yeah, this is a lot heavier spoon, too, so... Yeah, I'm thinking this is not the best lure <laughs> for these guys. Could check the peak and see if that... I don't think that's going to make a difference, though. I've tried every presentation. They are just not biting off of it. I'm going to go back to the brooch spoon. Yeah, if we don't get anything here soon, like there's a really big drop off in biting rates here. Let's see what is okay. We are definitely at the bottom of the peak. We could advance it a little bit just to see if that improves anything. Ain't gonna hurt. We are at the lowest of the low here. They are not biting though. For darn sure.
Yeah, I don't know why somebody <laughs> said this was the easiest. I don't think it is. I think it's one of the more difficult ones because these things bite at different rates for these different lures. Some of these lures, it just seems like they just don't go for them that well. <laughs> 